Oh, hey, look at that. Soul Sword Vein is available from Hextech Crafting. Aw, oh, man. Too bad it's so fucking hard to get a goddamn gemstone. I have three. I've opened over 100 boxes, and I only have three. And I just bought 24 boxes, and I got 17 champion shards. 17 champion shards. Fuck you, Riot! Welcome to League of Legends 6.13 Actual Patch Notes. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this patch isn't that big of a deal unless you're a support or you've been maining Vlad or Swain since their rework. Everyone hates you. One good thing in this patch is that now when you die, you still gain experience when you're nearby your team when they kill someone. So if you're as bad as me at League, you can still become less of a burden on your team. See, I'm not- I'm not- I'm not feeding. I'm passively gaining experience. Dumbass. Blitzcrank got some quality of life changes. His Q now pulls people 75 units in front of him instead of on top of him. Seems the same to me. His E can't be cancelled anymore, and thank fucking god his ult no longer hits minions whenever he's out of combat. So you can't accidentally kill minions with your passive. Even though deep down you enjoyed it. Riot tried to make Lulu into less of a mid and top laner by giving her W an attack speed buff on your allies, as well as its movement speed buff. Ugh, oh, fuck it, fuck yeah, man. Oh, fucking shit, yeah, man. Tom Kench also got some pretty good buffs this patch. The passive on his ult where he deals his bonus health damage on each auto attack and ability was switched over to his passive. So bringing him top lane level 1, you're gonna deal a shit ton of damage with your auto attacks in Q. Especially now that they buff the damage on it also. His E is now at a 6 second cooldown and no longer converts all the damage he takes as gray health, but instead goes from 70 to 90% depending on how many points you put into it. They also buff the healing you get back from it when not activating the ability with the shield now lasting only 3 seconds. And the range on his ult has been increased along with the channel being shorter. <laughs> The AP ratio on Thrust's Lantern was removed, but now every soul you gain makes the shield on your W stronger. So, you know, that's- that's nice. That's- that's nice. Zyra got butt-fucked like your favorite hentai. Taimani Nasagi is my favorite hentai. Help! Nar got a buff to help him kite against Triforce champs and mages being brought to top lane. Aurelia was strong as shit, so of course they nerfed her ult to give it a higher cooldown. Hey, Jibei. Fuck you. No, but seriously, really was broken as shit. Weed. Jarvan's W now gets more of a shield when around more enemies so that he doesn't get ass pounded. Kindred also no longer heals off of jungle camp, so she's not always going to be full health when invading your jungle trying to take her mark. But to compensate, they changed it so then she lowers the attack speed from jungle monsters. You can't constantly press R on Swain anymore thinking that, hey, why not? They made it so then the cooldown on his ult is 20 seconds, which is actually a pretty hard nerf, and I'm actually really happy that they did it. So now you have to think before using it instead of being like, eh. I'm kind of low health. You know, I might, I might as well, you know. Building Spirit Visage as your first item on Vlad isn't the best choice anymore since they nerfed his health to AP ratio and they also nerfed the base damage on his Q but buffed his AP ratio. So they're trying to make it so that he has more of a risky type of playstyle instead of being safe all the time but still be able to deal a shit ton of damage. They nerfed Volibear. I, 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 don't, I don't know why, but they nerfed him. Fuck! And support items actually got a buff. Ancient Coin now gives you CDR and armor, plus they gave Talisman the same passive as Zibarot Portal, where when you pass by a turret, you gain 20% movement speed. Relic Shield executes minions at lower health. Again, still basically the same shit. And Spell Thief's Edge is still Spell Thief's Edge, which basically means range supports are still OP as shit. I hate you. Mikhail's Ardent Sensor and Forbidden Idol now all grant bonus healing and shielding power, so you don't have to only buy Athenes in order to get that passive. Ruby Sightstone gives you 20% CDR on your active items and is also cheaper. Please, for the love of God, buy this item. It's actually really good. There's some catch-up experience buffs. Yeah, I'm, I'm not- I'm not reading that. And now whenever you teleport onto a turret, you teleport behind the turret towards your nexus. See? If you had just read the patch notes, you probably would have landed your W. You fucking idiot. Ranked fives are now scheduled, so people bitching that they can't do it anymore can now finally shut the fuck up about it. Ranked emblems are available, so now you can tell when someone is a boosted animal and when someone else is probably still a boosted animal. Because, if you think about it, we're all boosted animals. Ranked tier restrictions are available for people who are of higher elo, and a new Nami skin is available. So, in all, this patch is pretty decent. It fixed some problems that the community had with Dynamic Q while Riot tries to figure out how to make the system better for higher tier players, which is basically the only problem with the system. To be perfectly honest, it works pretty well for everyone lower than plat, so if you're gold and below, I mean, like, come on guys. You don't, you don't need to bitch and complain. There, there's literally nothing for you to complain about. Plus, the patch gave some buffs to supports that people are going to cream over. Like the Tom Kench changes. That shit's busted as hell. Squeesh. Woo! <laughs>